Welcome on in everyone. Let's do a little clearing of the space. And while we do this, let me make a few disclaimers here that are necessary. If you've not heard this before, all I ask is that you sit through and listen to it one time. If you've already seen it, then you can go on and fast forward into the reading, okay? Number one, I've got to say this for the YouTube moderators. This is for entertainment purposes only. And, you know, if they eventually want to take this down, then, you know, all my censored content goes to BitChute and Odyssey. If you want to know more about that, watch to the very end. I'll have information. Of course, links are down below in the description box. I also want to say, because this is for entertainment purposes only, do your own research, okay? I am not your fact checker, all right? You be your fact checker. Number two, those of you who are wondering my disposition, it's a good question that you need to ask of anybody who's given any kind of commentary. I am awake. I am not woke. I don't believe we're in Kansas anymore. If you think we still are, go, you know, that's good for you. <laughs> I'm not going to stand in your way. Believe what you want, okay? But I do have to say that I will end this reading discuss some things that you might not agree with and we're all adults so you can click away if you are not comfortable with people having a difference of opinion. Also, I will use code speak here, slang, uh, and some of you might think that's silly, but then again, so is censorship, so moving on. Y'all are free to disagree. I'm a freedom-loving Aquarian, so yes, absolutely share your agreement and disagreement in the comments down below. Just understand that if you're going to cite sources from places like CNN, you might get schooled. You might get laughed out of the comment section because, <laughs> as I said before, I'm awake, not woke. And finally, number three, uh, in case you hadn't figured it out, I am not your typical tarot reader. Um, if politics is not your thing, then please know I've got a lot of relationship coaching content here on my channel. I do relationship readings live every full moon, new moon. If you want to be notified of that, make sure that you uh, look at my stuff at the end to get more information. If you do like my political content, please know that I've got a lot more of that on uh, platforms where I won't be censored, or at least for now, I'm free to speak more openly about politics. Information will be at the end of the video, so stay tuned to the very end for that. That being said, let's get into this reading with a cleared space. Welcome on in, everyone. Welcome to the week ahead uh, political tarot reading for the week ahead, which will be June 13th. I hope you are doing well. And before we get really into this with my topics deck um, and just see what Spirit wants to talk about for the week ahead, um, let me say that uh, very quickly, I go live and I will be going live doing tarot readings um, having to do with relationships next Tuesday when we have that full moon in Sagittarius, okay? By the way, this could be a release of things having to do with beliefs, okay? Um, just on a global scale, all right? A lot of people having to let go of things that maybe they put their faith in, all right? Because the truth, the sun in Gemini is putting that in the spotlight. So big energy coming up. Um, obviously, there's bigger energies, but that's the big to do for next week. And I will be going live at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I only read for requested signs. So I have already put out a message on my community page if you're subscribed and have activated the bell for notifications you would have received that notification where you can let me know what sign you want me to read for okay um if you haven't done so already please do so now hit that subscribe button activate the bell for notifications and uh, let me know on my community page what signs you want me to read for this tuesday june 14th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And also next weekend, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to put one of these readings out for the week ahead of the 20th. And that is because I have three events in Austin. And if you're out there and you wanna get an in-person reading from me, uh, come visit me in Austin. Again, I have that information on my community page for those of you who are interested. If I'm able to get one of these out, you know, next weekend, film it ahead of time, I will. All right, let's see what are the hot topics for the week of June 13. And I'm pulling from um, my deck, oh, Senate, okay. Oh, oh, you know, what's coming to mind is this um, <clears throat> January 6th, uh, uh, the show trial that's going on right now. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. And um, let's go Brandon is, is up for discussion. Let's go Brandon. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I'm hearing the approval ratings are worse than ever. My gosh, I'm gonna take what has landed up right. This is a lot, a lot, a lot. There's, I'm, I'm getting, I'm sensing a lot of stuff going on. All right, um, the big stuff is, oh, why was, why is the Middle East coming up? Okay, and oh my gosh, I'm hearing it's a distraction. It's a distraction. Watch what's going on. Oh dear, I can't even talk about that on here. That's why, that's why I ended up moving my content over to BitChute and Odyssey because I got into talking about this here on YouTube and they took down one of my videos. This is a very censored, highly, like I, I'm gonna have to really, really speak in code about this, okay? Um, and hopefully Spirit will help me because it's out on the table for YouTube for us to discuss, but I've got to really tiptoe around that. I don't know why the Middle East is coming up. Perhaps we'll hear more about it. Uh, Mercury, communications, travel news. Oh, wow, I think this is anything more about the Middle East. What's going on with the Middle East? What's going on with the Middle East? Well, we'll find out. Okay. Uh, oh dear. All right, at the foundation. Mm. Cyber warfare, holy crap. I'm telling you people, uh, get your cryptocurrency on a hard, cold wallet if you have it, okay? And there's a lot of, um, and I'm, I'm getting a different thing about the cyber warfare card that uh, not to take it at face value, it's almost like the warfare is occurring through the crashing and consolidation of cryptos. Um, it's not the way you envision, okay? And I'm being brought back to that as well. Okay, I'm getting, this is a lot, a lot of, give me a moment to sort through this. This is the oddball energy here. I'm not sure how that factors in. So I think I got this energy uh, a lot last week with this came up in relation to what's going on with cryptocurrency. Okay, the more I sit with this, the more I am sensing the... <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, this is about January 6th. And I don't have a card in this deck about that because honestly... Um, you know, I did my own little investigation on that back when um, this was going on and this person got selected. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's a show trial because obviously they're not looking into people who actually got killed during that. Yeah, they're not. Uh, God, I'm opening a can of worms. God help me. Okay, so this this is all a, a topic together. And I think it's about the communications and the news. And, you know, people are being bombarded in the news with this right now. Um and it's a show trial. It's a one-sided show trial, um, right? The Ray Epps was trending on Twitter and people are like, oh, oh, you want to have a trial? Let's talk about Ray Epps. How come nobody wants to talk about Ray Epps? Go look up Ray Epps. Hashtag Ray Epps on Twitter with um, two Ps, E-P-P-S. Look him up. Nobody wants to talk about Ray Epps because you know what? When they do, the whole story unfolds. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get into this. Um, what do we need to know about this? Oh, and all those people that have been not, uh, they've been rotting in the jails since that event. Why have those not been brought to trial? Oh yeah, let, let's have let's have a legal proceeding. Let's have attorneys involved. Let's have due process, but no, none of these people, but we're gonna make a decision about this. And those people are just rotting in there without due process. Folks, it's very, very disturbing that they could let you rot in jail for a year without due process. Well, with the Stars card and the Eight of Swords, um, the public is not getting all the information here, okay? These these swords are about information, and the Stars is much about um, this Aquarian um, energy of the collective and humanity. And it is also indicating the calm after the storm and having a higher consciousness now and people really figuring out how to heal. But I don't think... I think this, this thought is happening more on a private, interpersonal level. This stuff that is going on in public, information is being withheld. And it has to do with individual freedom, rights. And I think this is very much on the public sight and view that they're seeing, hey, um, I don't want to get involved with this storyline because I'm not getting all the info here. I'm not getting all the intel about what happened 
Anything else? Six of Wands. And to, uh, you know, High Priestess, which is the second one in Major Arcana. Mm. I really feel with a Major Arcana here, it's like Spirit stepping in saying, we need, the Collective needs to understand the secrecy and what's going on behind closed doors, you know, because this is definitely about secrets, hidden information. And Spirit is trying to help heal the public discerning these issues. But what's going on more in the mundane, less on the spiritual realm, but more in the mundane, is, you know, it's a dog and pony show is what I'm getting with the Six of Wands. But make no mistake, you're not getting all the information. And it's a lot of fluff is what I'm getting off of this too. What are the secrets about? What are the secrets about? Tell me about the secrets. Oh my goodness. Yeah. People paid off, paid off, paid off to carry the water. And I'm talking about money from far off. I'm talking about monetary interest from foreign countries. Countries that you would think, oh, wow, is that how this is? That's a weird message. Now I'm hearing robbing the poor to a redistribution of wealth from the poor to the, the rich. I'm getting to follow the money. Look at who lost monetarily, who lost their ability to travel, who lost money, who got robbed, and who unexpectedly gained from all of this. Follow the money, and that's where the secrets unravel. What's the information that's being withheld? Or so many people don't want to see it. They don't want to see it. I think this is about messages that... Um, I'm getting censorship. I'm getting that it was censored because they want you to focus on something else about who won and who won here was this. There were messages that were censored about this change of power. Very concerning stuff. Do y'all remember when that happened, that um, inauguration day looked like a coup? I mean, really, something was eerily off. I mean, they had the military there. They had everything fenced up. They had even, and, and there were even, I got video footage of the military turning their back on Brandon as he was leaving the ceremony. And then, I don't know if you also recall, they, they were the military was very badly mistreated, told to go stay in a, a, a parking garage where there were no bathrooms, no internet connection. It was very cold, no heating. It was disgusting the way they were treated. And Brandon's um, contender actually owned a nearby hotel and put the military up there in the hotel so they could have bathrooms, they could sleep, eat, um, have heating, you know, have Wi-Fi. What is it this we need to heal from on this issue? Um, there's more going on here than the money. Yes, follow the money. But America needs to realize it's not just about follow the money and what's going on with money. It's a gutting, okay? It's a gutting of this nation, a disempowering of this nation. It is about our legacy. It is about our spiritual inheritance. Those of us who were born in this country. It's about the right to self-determination, about having integrity, that the people who are representing we the people are actually representing us because they were dutifully elected, right? But what's going on right now in Senate is they are having a show trial, a judiciary committee. And I'm going to tell you, it's anybody who's actually done their due diligence to listen to all sides of the story and be their own fact checker and not listen to people who are censoring, which there's plenty of that. Um, light bulb's gonna go off in their head. You're gonna see the truth. And you're gonna know this stuff ain't adding up. Who's wanting victory here and what for? Who or what is this victory involving with the wands? Oh my. 
Um, these are these are global banking interests. Okay, this is about them. You know who's holding the gold and who's in the in the international banking community. Um, their long term positioning and locking it down, and they were locking it down through you know travel over the last two years, and now we're seeing them locking it down through things having to do with shipping. You know, a lot of people will talk and say, you know, who actually who actually um, owns the U.S. government? Because it's obviously not we the people anymore. Something has radically shifted and changed. And um, the argument is, uh, yeah, it's not. Who owns the U.S. government now? It's a banking elite, global banking elite, which brings us to this. This matter of, you know, cyber warfare, fear, uncertainty, doubt, um, hmm. psychological operations, what you see is not what you get. What's going on in the stock market, the crypto market. Hey, we've got Uranus in the U.S. natal charts, fifth house. Um, it's like Russian roulette. It's like gambling, okay? With the two of chalices there. This has to do with who is associating and affiliating with the crypto sphere and the stock market. Who's connected? Who's involved? Who's partnering? Right? We've been hearing in the news that Ethereum has largely been, you know, taken over, uh, or it largely encompasses the global banking elite, which we were talking about before. Okay. Let's see, these people. Um. And now they're trying to merge Ethereum with Bitcoin while crashing and consolidating all coins this summer. This Russian roulette, okay? And anybody who's like gambling with the stock market and crypto this year, yeah, it's Seven of Swords. Oh boy. People trying to get over, okay? Trying to get over with that Seven of Swords. You have to look at who is involved in these things. Who has vested interest in these things? Something about unions might be relevant. Unions. I don't know, it's like trade unions or people uniting. And again, I see it going on behind closed doors, backroom deals, covert action occurring here. And I'm also getting gaslighting here with the, you know, fear, uncertainty, doubt. They're trying to convince you of something when in reality they're, they're stealing. Okay, like, the, listen, they've come out and admitted, I believe it was J.P. Morgan or Goldman Sachs recently came out and said, that they they consider Bitcoin an asset. So it's really no wonder that they're trying to take over Bitcoin. They're trying to merge Ethereum with Bitcoin. But this is about stealing. This is about theft, embezzlement, dishonor, hidden dishonor. This is about sleazy politicians. And I don't know why I'm getting you. Be careful. Some of these politicians are playing dumb like they don't know about crypto. And I think a lot of them legitimately don't. But some of them actually do. And you actually have some people also in the financial arena who have been saying for how long now that, you know, crypto isn't real money, but then come to find out it's now coming out that they have investments in crypto. And they were telling their clients, oh, we don't need to invest in that. Smoke and mirrors. Okay, you don't know what's going on. Because there's definitely... Um, Integrity issues. I'm getting something here about holding the bag. Um, be careful. Yeah, because and there's a death card. Be careful because some people are going to be left holding the bag, which is a term in the crypto community for somebody who goes in and makes investments and stuff. And then it's kind of like Terra Luna. They put a bunch of money in that. And man, I heard some bad, bad stories about people investing a lot into it. And then Terra Luna got crashed. And I heard some stories about people offing themselves over it. And now, now I, you know, I've been hearing about these Bitcoin maximalists and holy crap, Bitcoin's taking a hit. Now I'm hearing it's going to turn around in a month. You know, again, that's what I'm hearing. I don't know for a fact, but um, these Bitcoin maximalists who just like put everything into Bitcoin and it crashes. Um, bad stuff going on here with the death card where there is definitely some kind of death rebirth cycle uh, going on and I'm hearing it's abrupt as well and it is because of dishonesty and who is infiltrating and affiliating with these currencies creating difficulties and separation and yes it might have to do with debt as well 
running people into debt unsustainable again holding the bag you you put all your money into something that they crashed by design and there's a lot of dark secrets here with these two a lot of dark secrets in who is involved in these i'm telling you if you're getting involved in any cryptocurrency um between i'm saying like any time between now and the end of the year by the way yeah look at that um and I just, I'm going to be shortly, uh, probably this next week, putting out a special report on the astrology for the last half of the year for the United States astrology. And even if you're not in the United States, that will be of interest to you. But let me say, given that astrology, Uranus in the fifth house uh, in Taurus, Russian roulette here, and the cards are telling me this is some deep, dark, um, there's going to be some losses. And, um, and I think that... Um, what they're doing is they are trying to, it's a lot of money being lost. It's a lot of, and deep pockets. I'm talking whales. I'm talking institutional investors are going in and doing this. Yeah, very highly privileged people. This type of people who, right, um, coming in, buying up, giving people uh, some false sense of security that, that prices are going to keep going up, 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 and then they don't. Then they come in and they pull out all their investments after, you know, all the little people came in and added their money thinking that they're riding the wave and then bam, it crashes. Uh, yeah, this is about payoff. This is about them getting advancement. And there we go again with some kind of a union, um, financial commitments, long-term investments. They are in it for the long haul. And I saw that over here, long-term, long-term investments, okay? It is a bigger plan. It is a bigger um I, I think they're trying to shake people out through fear and the people who are uh, or to stop people from putting fiat into crypto. They do not want decentralized banking. They are trying to use these tactics to scare people out of decentralized finance, to hold them captive with fear, to centralize banking interests. And the people that they don't scare out of getting involved in investing in it, well, they're going to shake them out with these institutional investments. They're going to um, make them afraid. I, and I'm sorry, I'm not really helping with that, am I? Like, I'm not helping, I, I'm not reassuring you, okay, because they're trying to get control of all the cryptos. All right, so this whole Middle East thing is just drawing a blank for me, if I can be completely honest with you. And, you know, this might have to do with the monetary system and how we've been engaging a lot of warfare in that area over the last 20 years. And that has racked up a lot of debt. I can tell you with the astrology, we are looking at this issue of debt, foreign entanglements, foreign aid, warfare becoming more of an issue as we get into the second half of this year. Definitely with the fact that we, the United States is in its, you know, Pluto return. We're having three hits of it this year. We're having um, our second, we had our first hit in January, I'm sorry, February 20th. And then we have our second hit July 10th and our third hit December 28th. By the way, I'm going to talk more about this um, in the astrology that I'm going to be putting out for July. And hopefully that will come out sooner than later because I've got a lot of stuff coming up for me this last half of this month. So I'm going to try to get it out earlier than usual. But um, with the Queen of Pentacles here, this is a lot about security issues and stability and the practicalities of life. This is about, um, you know, being down to earth. Okay. And trying to manifest something, but... Um, there's a lot of conflict and people need to see the truth about it. And with the magician's card, this probably has to do with people's personal power, their expectations. It might have to do with resources, arguing about resources, um, solar power resources. That's an odd message. I'm also seeing that resources could be manifesting conflict well that's an energy going on all this year what's trying to be re huh. yeah I, I feel like this has to do with alliances and um meetings and having to do with um what's going on in their country of origin and what are the arguments about what are the arguments about um, trying to get some new beginning? 
Mm. I feel like it's um it's been an unfair exchange. I'm I'm hearing pillaged. These people feel like they've been pillaged, they've been robbed, they've been looted, and and I think also concerning their children, their families, the next generation. And honestly, I'm getting that it's everybody's coming out a loser on this because um, the same could be reflected back. There's some mirroring going on where, you know, how many generations of Americans have been robbed over the last 20 years of financing warfare to tend to the business of another country and their citizens, which they should be minding their own business, right? But because we've been minding everybody else's business but our own, now, you know, we're looking at the next generations being basically sold into debt slavery. And with the sun here, this is putting some kind of spotlight on this, maybe the truth of the matter and getting clarity and some illumination of this darkness. And it could also be that this is a very key during the summertime. And it also seems to be tied to people's ability to um, thrive and to prosper. And it might have to do with deserved income. Again, what are the resources that belong to that homeland? Whether we're talking about tax, American tax dollars that belong in America, or we're talking about um, gas resources, okay, now it's coming to gas resources belonging in the Middle East. We have our own gas resources as well. So I don't know if this is about the gas industry. Um, what is this sun card about? Please show me. Please show me clearly what is the sun card about. I, I feel like there's not been a lot of honesty about what's been going on with the resources and the alliances. This, and again, I'm getting a summertime theme with both of these cards. Um, be careful about the alliances coming up during summertime. And it might have to do with work opportunities in the oil and gas arena or this more specifically actually um, solar power. Heavy governmental influence with that sun card and also at the energy sector and any kind of energy resources. And it might have to do with a labor force. And there's some spillover with what's being produced and there's conflict about it. I'm gonna be straight with you. The feeling that I get from this is really fuzzy. Even though the sun is here, I've got this like, uh, and notice where the sun is in this picture, it's way in the back. You can't see her face. I don't know if this is about, and I'm seeing masks are covered, the mouth is covered. They're masking the real issue here. It's it's there. If you got you got to look past what's being, it's in plain sight, but it's being covered up. Um, it's being veiled in some way, but it is there. You can see it, and there is a spotlight this whole summertime on on this. And I think really where you most notably see the spotlight is the arguing, the disagreements. Fighting over resources. Oh my gosh, look at that face, face. I'm telling you with the face and the mask, something about it. Uh, this card says money skills, investors taking risk, face value, fame, exposure, reputation. I feel that th this is gonna come out. It's something that's going to get exposed probably in the summertime. Having to do with resources, energy resources, conflicts going on over there, fighting warfare, has not been for the reasons you were told, not for the official resources, or the, not for the official reasons. This is because people had vested interests. They took risks. They had business ventures out there. And they were making money out there. These are people who may, might seem highly reputable, highly accomplished. Look at these people. They look like right they they're at a, 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 a gala an event you know and this is somebody here it's a lot of money too okay somebody who makes investments somebody who has a lot of investments oh but they need more money they need more money 
so that they can live well. I'm also seeing um, food related. Again, I think it's a spillover that it's a, just a domino effect. It's I'm getting a cluster F, excuse my French, but it's almost like, you know, we're, we're talking about natural resources. We're talking about energy sources within the Middle East. We're talking about conflicts and contracts and negotiations that are affecting work. Right. Well, I know a lot of Americans got cut off of work within the in the in the energy sector here in America, and we are left energy dependent on the Middle East. And that happened within the first week of Brandon's administration installation. OK. And so, again, look beyond the veil because somebody looks like they're profiting from this and they are. And they're getting more money off of this arrangement while others are suffering. And it's not just suffering higher gas prices and higher electrical energy costs. But now it's spilling over into food production, manufacturing. It is a domino effect. And now you've got workers needing more work to keep up with these rising prices. But, oh, wait a minute. Um, that's not happening because we're now dealing with a workforce that is being replaced with AI. This is deep, dark stuff, people. I'm going to see if we can get some advice. See if we can leave y'all off with some advice for this week. Advice on what to do. Advice on what to do. I'm feeling that. Release jealousy and clearing debts. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they have it, so can you. I do see a lot of, um, you know, fighting going on, looting. Like I said, I think I talked about that earlier. At least I've talked about that in the astrology that I will be releasing this next week. Okay, get the astrology for the United States natal chart over the next six months okay i do see a lot of fighting over resources looting cyber warfare um, because people also are looking at what they don't have what others have and not really understanding who the real victims are here who the real what the real culprit is what the cause is and what the real solution is during this time um, people are trying to grab onto things but you know spirit is saying clear debts okay and in the, in the context of this reading the debt seems very much tied to all the warfare that's been going on in the last 20 years in the middle east and to the bondage that people are in to getting natural resources from people out in the middle east who have been enemies of the united states at least the elite there. I'm not saying the people on the ground, right? Because it's very likely that those people, they just want to live in peace like the rest of us here in America. But it's these wealthy people that are using the populace to play banking war games and view us as cattle that need to be culled in their little war games, in their banking war games. I mean, we have got to get out of this dependency type stuff. South Node and Scorpio. Clear the debts. Um, this card says your self-care remote involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life. You already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones. Let me tell you, I've been paying down my debts and I'm going to continue to do that this summer because that is what is enslaving a lot of people and is putting them in a situation where they have no financial sovereignty. Get free of the debts as much as you can help it and try to tap more into decentralized finance as much as you can help it. I know that's like a big Pandora's box and there's a lot of this going on and it's all by design, um, but we have got to get out of these uh, central banking dependency roles that we've been in and these entities who are not friendly to America. All right, that's all I got for now. Y'all have a good week. Be blessed.